won't believe how much this jersey sold for. I'm sorry, I lied. I technically said I wasn't gonna make another video on Bronny, so technically I didn't lie because this is not about his game. This is about how much his jersey sold for. Let's talk about it. Bronny's Summer League jersey sold for $38,400. Just for reference and a comparison, the number one overall pick, Zachary Reisacher, I don't know if I pronounced his last name correctly, I apologize if I did not, <laughs> but his <laughs> jersey for Summer League sold for $33.60. That's $3,360. And Reed Shepard, the number three overall pick, his jersey sold for $15,600. And to make another comparison, Victor Wembanyama's jersey from Summer League, his debut jersey, sold for $62,020. So his jersey actually did sell for more than Bronny James. And it also said that Wemby's regular season debut jersey sold for $762,000. So I saw this article or this, you know, thing talking about Bronny's jersey being sold for that amount of money. And I was like, let's go through the internet and let's look at items that are being sold by or that were worn by NBA players. And let's see what kind of numbers are out there. So of course, first we have to start with LeBron since this video was about Bronny. Now this 2003-2004 LeBron James signed rookie pro game jersey is going for $49,999.99. And they have the nerve to charge $50 in shipping just for that. Like we're already paying 50 grand. We still got to pay $50 in shipping. This is Steph Curry's game worn jersey where he scored 42 points, just a mere $29,950. Don't forget that nice shipping fee there. We cannot forget that. <laughs> Look at this. $3,900,000 for this LeBron James thing. From what I typed in and you know, maybe if you type something else in, you get a different result and you get something with more money something that costs more however this was the highest priced item the lebron james jersey 30 i mean three million nine hundred thousand dollars at least we get free shipping on this item though so that's good then we have michael jordan 1985 air jordan ones used sign sneakers going for four hundred and forty nine thousand nine hundred ninety five dollars and fifty cents a larry bird 1992 dream team game used jersey going for $300,000. I was actually surprised that I didn't see more or other like dream team or all-star jerseys near the top of the list. Like, again, maybe if you type in something different compared to what I typed in, you get different results. But this was the only one I saw near the top. This is fire. Would I pay $300,000 for this? <laughs> I'm not sure. But this jersey is fire. Like those 1992 Olympic Dream Team jerseys are so nice. This was interesting to me. A Shaden Sharp Game Worn Rookie City Edition jersey is selling for $100,000. And I'll repeat it again. If you type in something different, maybe you get different results. But based on the things that I were typing in, I was typing in rather, Shaden Sharp's jersey, his Rookie City Edition jersey, is selling for more than anything that Steph Curry had on there. This was near the top of the list, like I said, $100,000. And I love Shaden Sharp. I think he's a very good player. I think he's so fun to watch. So like, this is no shade at Shaden Sharp. Shade, Shaden Sharp. <laughs> Say that three times fast. However, this costs more than Steph Curry things. I, I don't know. But when you see the next item, I think you'll kind of understand more why this is $100,000 and why this is maybe higher priced than you would expect it to be because Shade and Sharp is 100% a fan favorite in the Blazers, you know, fan base. And players who are favorites and just are fan favorites overall, their stuff is more valuable even if the player themselves, and again, he's a good player, he's young, but like, even if the player themselves is not necessarily a better player than somebody else. So here's the example. I think how to pronounce his last name is Pukashevsky. If I pronounced it wrong, I apologize. He was, I remember when he was playing with OKC, super fan favorite. Like people loved when he came in. He was not the star on the team whatsoever. He did not play all the time. I, I don't even know if he's still on the roster, to be honest. He might be. 
but like, see $59,995 for his game worn jersey. And again, that's no shade at him. I am not saying he can't play. I'm not saying that his stuff is not valuable. I'm just saying this, to me, feels like one of those, like, you, okay, I'll give you a good example. Boban. You know Boban, 7-4 Boban. You know, all the commercials, everything, like, fan favorite around the league. Has he ever played 40 minutes a game for a season, averaged 30 points per game? No. But you know his value is crazy if something that he wore was put on the market. So that's kind of a good comparison. I'm not going to lie, this is fire. Again, I don't know if I'm paying $30,000 for it, but this Vince Carter game worn jersey is fire. Hopefully, whoever buys this, it looks the same in person because in the photo, I love the way the colors look. This is super awesome. Like, if I was going to recommend anybody to buy any of these items, <laughs> right now it would be this one. See the limited edition game worn. Like, this is really fire. Maybe, <laughs> I don't know. I think this is really cool. And the last thing that we are going to discuss is the Lakers game used basket <laughs> signed by Shaq. $25,000 if you want a game used backboard that Shaq signed. <laughs> and it's like such a Shaq thing, like such a Shaq item to be signed. I don't mean that as an insult. I mean that in a good way. Like <laughs> only Shaq could sign this and everybody wants it. I mean, it's still on the market. So if you want this, you better get it quick. <laughs> I don't know how fast it's going to sell out, but it is such like a Shaq thing, especially given the fact that he broke, you know, a couple of backboards in his day. But this was fun. See you guys next time.